Good morning everybody, how is it going? Today we're playing Naga Siren in Angel Arena Reborn. And uh, yeah, Naga's super fucking broken. Like, she's so dumb. She's so dumb. It's ridiculous. So that's mostly why I'm making this video, because I want to show off how dumb Naga is. It's just, it's just, it's just so ridiculous. Also, funny side note, actually, um, I just got, like, a Christmas card from DFTBA, right? Where you can buy my merchandise, link in the description. Uh, is there somebody incoming? Already? Uh, yeah, it's a mistake, this is not gonna end well for you. <laughs> this is... <laughs> you, you have made a mistake, my friend. You have made a mistake. Okay, yeah, so did you. Uh, do we have, like, a root or something? Any anything at all we can do to him? Ah, oh, there we go. Easy fucking. The Pudge is still here. I thought he was gonna like feed himself to the creeps, but no. <laughs> all right, I guess not. But anyway, as I was saying, right? So the merch company I work with, DFTBA, which by the way you should go buy the merch. It's super sick. But completely disregarding that, they send out Christmas cards. I don't know how many of you know Kotzkazak, but Kotzkazak is actually one of my favorite YouTube channels. It's really really nice. What the fuck is going on here? Can you just like fuck off, man? I'm just trying to like hit some creeps. All right, all right. Yeah, I don't want to go in there because it's gonna aggro the boss and shit. But they sent us a Christmas card, except they like sent the one for Kotzkazak. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I guess we're Kotzkazak now. Stepped up our quality game, hardcore, man. Like seriously, crazy. Crazy how, how quickly everything went uphill, isn't it? Well, anyway, I just think that's kind of funny. It's not like it's a big deal, right? The card is very, very simple. It wasn't dedicated to them at all. It just said their name on it. But I just think it's kind of funny that we got the one for Kutzkisa. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I went to Paris over the past few days. Um, my voice is super rip. All right, I'm sure you guys can tell, but like, fuck me. I uh, am. I have a very, very sore throat. Uh, that's be because we spent about three hours waiting in the cold uh, to get into the catacombs. So what did we do in Paris? We went to the Louvre. Louvre. How do you fucking? I don't speak French, man. Then we went to the Louvre. Uh, we went to look at the catacombs. We went to the Eiffel Tower, and then also into the aquarium. That was kind of it. And then we just spent some time in town and such. You know, just walking about. Kind of taking a look at everything, but but yeah, nothing too, nothing too crazy, right? Just like regular old stuff. But uh, I guess I could give you like my review for everything. So Louvre, pretty fucking big. Like seriously, that thing was huge. That was wow. Like I didn't expect it to be that big. Like I expected it to be fancy and shit. Um, but it's just a really, really big museum of art. It's just crazy how uh, completely mind blowing to me. Right? Like you are currently imagining a big building. Whatever you're imagining is nowhere near as big as the Louvre. It's just not even close. Alright, like holy fucking shit, that is a huge museum or art gallery or whatever you wanna call it. Enormous. Like we spend what like three hours in there and I feel like we got maybe half of it done. And the thing is we didn't even like you know, take care to look at everything thoroughly. We were kind of rushing through it because I was just like, this is so big. Now, at the same time, there's a lot of repetitive stuff in there. So, like, unless you really like uh, looking at a lot of, like, people's, you know, like, like Roman headless men, then, uh, I don't know. It's okay. Like, honestly, I'm not really into that entire thing, so... Uh, it was kind of fine. But it was definitely worth a look just because of, like, how mind-blowingly big it is. Also, Mona Lisa... Very boring. Exceedingly boring. Uh, actually, kind of exactly as boring as I expected it to be. I didn't have high expectations for the Mona Lisa, but it also wasn't very nice. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, well, this is just a really not that interesting painting. All right, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> it's very small. Uh, it's not mm, super small. It's just it's just not, not that. The funny thing about the Mona Lisa is it is, it is hung right next to... So like in the, in the room where the Mona Lisa is, right? There's the Mona Lisa, and it's like on this wall, right? And then on the opposite wall, there's this huge fucking painting that like stretches across the entire. It's like 20 meters by 20 meters big, and I'm not even joking. That's like legit how tall it is. 
Right, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Nobody's paying attention to that. Everybody's looking at the Mona Lisa, and I'm just like, oh, this is <laughs> okay, all right, if you if you say so. But yeah, um, Calicums were cool, although huge line, huge fucking line. Holy shit! Um, we stood in line for literally three hours, and uh, then we went in there, and there were some skeletons. And uh, it's definitely worth going, although I don't recommend you stand in, f in line for three hours in the fucking cold, because it was really fucking cold, and I was like, holy shit, I was fucking cold. Um, okay, oh, we're gonna beat him up really quick. It's gonna be first blood. Oh, not first blood, but our first kill here. Uh, so why is Naga so broken, by the way? Uh, it's just mostly Riptide. Uh, Riptide is just really dumb. Because, like, look at this. It deals... 280 damage right now and reduces armor by 16. Yes, 16! You heard that right. <laughs> it's like, why? Why? <laughs> now, I don't fucking know, but that's what it does. And it's just so unnecessarily high, you know? That's that's kind of the whole point. It's just like, oh, this is stupid. Why does it do that much? Why does it do that much? Like, wh why? I don't know. I don't know. It's just how it is, right? Um, But yeah. And then we went to the Eiffel Tower, which there was, like, huge fucking crowds there. Honestly, the most interesting thing about the Eiffel Tower, to me, where, like, all of the scam artists around it. Like, I mean, there's a lot of lot of fucking scam artists in that entire area. And uh, the most notable one, to me, where people, like, playing this gambling game, which essentially came down to... There's a guy who's got, like, uh, three cups, and then, you know, there's a ball underneath them, and then he switches them around, and he asks people to guess in which cup it is. And, uh, you know, like, if you get it right, then you get twice your money back. And they are always playing with either 50s or 100s. So it's actually quite quite a lot of money they're playing with, honestly. Like, that's, that's a decent amount of cash you're playing with there, right? Like, so, just, all right. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, but it was fascinating to watch, right? Because sometimes the guys were just making people feel safe, right? Like, you could totally tell that they were playing the long game. Yeah, uh, you could totally, it was so obvious. Because there were some rounds where they were playing and it was just so clear where the ball was and they weren't even trying to hide it at all. And to me that was just like, oh, alright, so you're doing this to make everybody believe it's easy, right? And then, after a little while they started switching it up and it's just like, oh, and now you're making it hard. You know, you're making it so it, it isn't as obvious. Really interesting to me. Um, definitely something that I found fascinating. Although I didn't participate, of course. It's I'm, I'm not gonna participate in something like that. It's just not not worth it. <laughs> I kind of considered it for a second, right? Because after a little while, I was starting to figure out when they were going for the easy ones. But then, but then I'm like, okay, so right now you believe that you think that you know when they're going, when they're making it easy, right? But that's the whole fucking scam, right? Like that's what they want you to think. So just don't waste your money, right? Funnily enough, though, and again, this is the trick with the scam. Every single time I was like, okay, it's in that one, it's in that one. I was always right. I was always right, you know? So I'm just like, huh, there's no way I figured it out, you know? Like, like, no way, no way I, I like, managed to, like, beat their system or something like that, right? I'm not gonna play. But it was very tempting, and that's where they are making their money from, you know? And that was really fascinating to me. Eiffel Tower, we didn't go up there. Too crowded. It was really fucking crowded, man. I mean, we went right after Christmas. That's like when a lot of people are gonna be going. But you know, it was Mickey's birthday, so we went on that day. Um, but yeah, it was just like crazy fucking crowded. So we decided to just not go up the Eiffel Tower. We went into the um, into the aquarium instead, which ended up being pretty small. It was a nice aquarium. Definitely a nice aquarium. Just small. All right. If it was a little bit bigger, I would have appreciated it more. But it was already good. Like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a nice place, right? Definitely not awful, not at all. It was just a little small. That's all. But yeah, that's about Paris. You know, um, I'm playing Angel Arena right now because I kind of want to give you guys updates on Angel Arena All Stars, which is our version of Angel Arena. The, you know, like I told you, we were gonna make. So I am currently putting the team together. We're not gonna start development on the game until the third or the fourth of January. Just because of the holidays and shit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting together the team. Uh, which means, you know, I'm, I'm talking, I'm sending out emails, I'm talking to everybody. I'm actually having, like, 
a little interview with every single person that is going to end up being part of the team. And as you might guess, that takes a little while, but I've already gotten through a bunch of them. Currently, our team is, I believe, 20 people strong, which is a lot, right? Um, probably going to end up being about 30 people overall. So pretty, pretty big team there. Pretty big team, but hopefully it's going to end up working out good as a result. You know, that's the whole plan. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to go Octarine Core right now. I just like getting the early Octarine Core because, you know, it reduces the cooldown on our Illusions and on our E, and we don't really need anything else for farming. Like, uh, Radiance is nice, but the E is so good, you don't need it for farming. Oh, shit. No, I didn't mean to Diffuser Blade that. Doesn't matter. We're going to upgrade the Diffuser Blade twice anyway. And then once... Like, the thing is, it, doesn't, it really does not matter even a tiny bit when or not I... Ways that a diffuser charge because at max level diffuser blade has infinite charges or 150. I'm not sure which one it is. I actually, I don't know. You have a lot of charges. Like it's nothing to worry about. You you essentially have infinite charges. So yeah. But I'm just putting the team together. I'm just talking to people. You know, I'm just getting people to uh, to join. If he, I have sent you an email that was like, hey, I would like to uh, talk to you on Discord, then please. Um, Respond to that email, please come talk to me. Please try to make it sometime soon, you know, I can't wait forever. If you don't respond in time, I'm gonna have to get somebody else to, you know, do your job instead. If you have sent me an email and you haven't gotten a response yet, then it's very likely you're actually in my yes folder and that's why you haven't. Um, I'm going to give you a response once I'm done putting the team together. So there's still a good chance that you might be in the team, um, you know, but anyway. So that's kind of the situation there. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. And, um, yeah. So why do we need that many people? Like, what, what, what do we have that many t people for? Well, uh, 12 out of those 30 people are going to be just translation. Right? So that already takes out a, quite a big chunk of them. Or, um, not takes them out, but, you know, like, already explains a big chunk of the people, right? We're going to have... Uh, three people on each translation team, and we're going to translate into four different languages, which is Portuguese, Spanish, Russian, and Chinese. So, yeah. You know, that's already 12 people. Then we're going to have people on music, we're going to have people making, um, making uh, just general sound design, I suppose, right? We're going to have artists making loading screens, icons. We got a guy that is a demonologist, which was, by the way, this, uh, somebody had sent me an email was like, hey, I could help with this. And I'm just like, oh, you know what? That sounds kind of cool, right? Um, but we got a guy that's a demonologist, which uh, what he does is he's going to kind of like check if the kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what I want him to do, I haven't actually had, had a chance to talk to him yet, but what I want him to do is to uh, make our things make sense as in you know like if we come up with a new item then essentially we're just coming up with the mechanics of it right and then i want that guy to slap a theme on it that fits with the rest of angel arena you know make it make it have a coherent theme and make it be consistent in its um wouldn't necessarily say lore but i guess lore <laughs> right um yeah so we got a guy for that we got a copywriter what he does is he just, uh, you know, makes sure that our descriptions sound nice. Right, that's his job there. And it's just, we got a lot of lot of different people. We got programmers, of course. We got um, pl plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. Like, I don't want to go for everything. Plenty of stuff. And that's why the team ends up being that big. Uh, especially since I'm always putting together, like, a team of people. Not just one guy, but multiple. Except for, if, like, the demonologist guy. He's going to be on his own. Same for the copywriter. We don't need a team for that, but yeah. Anyway. Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm just kind of saving up for my Octarine Core right now. And then after the Octarine Core, we're going to start working on just a casual Radiance. Um, probably a Radiance 2, honestly, if I can. So it's dead. Yeah, they got an Ember Spirit, which makes it a little bit... No. It's cheating. <laughs> Talking about Ember Spirit. Found the guy. Oh, that was a mistake, good sir. Um, no. Got him too. Kind of want to kill him, but... Oh! Agonims. That's cute. That's cute. I get it. I get it. Alright, let's get that. 
Cool, time to head back. There's like a whole bunch of creeps that aren't going farmed while my team is fighting. <laughs> Let me go out and grab those really quick. But yeah, uh, we're actually going to the circus today. There's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, so there's like this uh, really fancy, like super crazy circus. And I know, I know you think circus, what the fuck, man? Like, what? Right? Like clowns and shit, what's wrong with you? But there's actually a really nice circus that comes to Stuttgart once a year. Right? And it's like world renowned as like being the best ever or some shit like that. I don't really know what it is, what exactly. But it is really nice. I've been there a few times before. And even though you usually think like it's like it's fun, right? Like it's actually just, oh wow, this is actually a really enjoyable experience. And um, yeah, so we're doing that tonight. And then tomorrow I'm just fucking chilling. I ain't doing shit except working. Which is kind of part of chilling for me. Like, to me, working is such an ingrained part of my life that I just... That's considered chilling as well. <laughs> I don't know what to do with free free time. I don't. If you give me free time, I'm just like, what is this? Like, what, what do I do with this? <laughs> okay, that's an earth shaker. Um, no! No! What? I cast my ultimate! Fuck, we did. That sucked. Wow, that didn't go well at all. All right, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Are you guys going there? Hmm. Actually, uh, go up here. That was not good at all. That really sucked. I was just about to use my ultimate too to like interrupt the entire fight, but didn't get around to it. Wasn't quick enough. Well, it sucks a little bit, doesn't it? Alright, uh... I guess right now we're just gonna farm up the Radiance, right? Um, so what makes Naga so silly? Uh, it's honestly just... Indeed. Everything? I don't even know how else to put it. Right, so Radiance gives you burn damage from stats 0.6. So you just build up a lot of stats with Naga. You get power threats. You get, um, you know, max level Scotty. With Dr. Incor, you have an Agonims as well, so your ultimate has like 12 seconds cooldown. <laughs> it's just like permanently ready. It's not actually 12 seconds, but it feels like it. And... Oh, it's just super, super fucking scary. Um, okay. Alright, we gotta sleep here. Gotta get you out. We got him, that's good. Ooh, gotta go. Hmm, this is almost certainly dead for, death for me. Nah, damn it. I was trying so hard and then I accidentally selected it. <laughs> I was trying so hard. Well, honestly, it was just like a 99% chance I die right there. Alright, they're being really aggressive. I'm trying hard to shut us down. Uh, we're just gonna get our Radiance right now. Alright, that's, that's like the thing we gotta do. Just gotta stick to, to farming, you know. Like, gotta do what you're good at, and that's what Naga's good at. And, like, we'll get big in no time. You can see we're already, like, level 13, which is really solid. And... You know, just keep farming and take this shit down and get our radiance, you know. Maybe we'll not fail the next duel as hard as we did that one. <laughs> but yeah, their team is a bit scary. I mean, just the Potch alone is... Potch is actually, like, super good. Like, so fucking good. But yeah, I guess it's, like, all the updates I wanted to give, right? Like, again, today I'm just chilling. Not doing anything crazy, not doing anything fancy. Gotta do that once in a while too, right? <laughs> Alright. <Sliver. clears throat> oh, nice. Appreciate that. Alright, my illusions. Go to battle. Or something. Or something. You know? You get it. We got ourselves the sacred relic. There's a little bit of money left to go, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna have the Radiance. And I mean, the, honestly, like, a level 1 Radiance is already nice. Although, the thing we really want, the thing we really, really, really want, is actually level 2 Radiance. 
Level 2 Radiance is where it gets good. Right? Like, level 1 Radiance is fine. Level 2 Radiance is when it gets good. Because then it gets the, like, stats bonus, right? Burn damage from stats bonus. So, um... Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, this is kind of just where we're going for. Hello, Crystalus. Yeah, he's gonna be a little bit annoying. But not too big of a deal, honestly. Like, I know it sounds like he would just... Oh! To dodge. <laughs> Sounds like that would just be something that is like impossible to deal with, but it's actually perfectly fine. I'm not worried about that guy. Honestly. Alright, we got him. Okay, there's the stun. Um, do that. That's alright. Got Radiance now. Got Radiance now. I uh, just got treads. I want to level 2 treads if I'm honest. Kind of want level 2 treads, but there we go, we got level 1 Radiance. I mean, again, it's not like the craziest thing in the world, but it's definitely a nice thing to have. And as you can see, we're starting to get a little powerful. Right now, the cool thing about Naga is Naga can actually like fight really well in the early game as well. She's definitely not one of those heroes that you just, you know, farm up and then you get strong. Because, like, that is the least impressive thing in the entire world. Like, oh, you farmed for two days and then you got strong. What a surprise. Who could have seen this coming? Literally nobody. Okay, well, I, I took far too much damage here already. Yeah, I'm, like, super dead. Ooh, this is not good. <laughs> Ooh, this is not good. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. The Juggernaut with the spin is a bit irritating. I don't really have a lot of counterplay there. I'm, I deal a lot of magic damage. Don't really deal much other damage though. I like keeping Quell and Quelling Blade pretty... Pretty, uh... Pretty long. Uh, it's just... I don't know. It's just such a nice item. In this kind of mode. You know, when the creeps get strong... The Quelling Blade actually helps with your farming speed a lot. Since you just cut them down, it's mostly about the active, but... I mean, the active is good. Let's get this guy. I see that these guys would usually take forever to kill, but I just Quelling Blade them down and then they don't. Cool Gloss of Haze, I actually take that. If there's, oh, there's Power Tread, sick. And Band of Elven Skin. Hey, that's all money that goes, like, towards... That's, that's all stuff I need for my upgraded power threads. And we do want those upgraded power threads. Like, those are so good. So fucking good. <clears throat> Actually, wait. Why did I just buy a full threads? I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, God. Alright, is this going to work? Okay, there we go. We got we got it. We got a treads now, and we got we got this treads. Good. So we're gonna put this here. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> inventory management management in seven point oh is just fucking impossible. Man. Oh, I just about had it. Just about had the dodge on that. Okay, nice. Lock him down. Beat him up too. Yeah. Nice. There we go. The comeback. Hey, I mean we're losing right now, but I'm actually legit not worried. Not not at all. We'll be fine. We'll be so fine. That guy's broken. I'm telling you. You'll see. You'll see. Just just wait and see. I actually like it when it goes like this. You know. There's nothing interesting about. Ah, well, it's a little bit interesting, I guess. I'm not gonna say it's nothing interesting because that's just not accurate, but you know, it's more. I think it's more interesting to like come back in a game than to just like stomp from the very beginning. Well, stomping from the very beginning can be pretty fun too. I don't know, my opinion. There's a bottle there. Why do I have tangos? I don't need your tangos. Get that shit out of you. Keep your filthy tangos, man. I don't need that pass and shit. Hey, I'm trying to farm you. Alright. 
So, uh, the level 3 treads are sick. Because they give you the huge, huge benefit of giving you 120 in all stats, as opposed to just one of them. Uh, so, since we're just looking to improve our stats as much as possible, that is obviously a nice choice. Well, it's definitely something that does exactly that, so that's exactly what we're using it for. Going to sell that really quick. Yes. But yeah, we're already starting to get quite tanky. And uh, after that, we just need 5,200 to the, for the upgraded Radiance, and we'll get an upgrade of Octarine, Octarine Core. And then we are ready. And at that point, it's going to be really hard for them to stop us. And I know it sounds a bit silly, because right now we're not that scary, but I promise you, like, once we actually get there... <laughs> game fucking over, man. It's just nasty. That's all. And... Uh, anything good here? No. You can actually pick this stuff up now, and there's not really much of an issue associated with it. You know, previously you were taking up courier space and such, but not anymore. Oh, that's lame. Come back here. You know, stop doing good plays, man. Bring that back so I can, like, beat it up. Alright, there we go. Upgraded treads. I really like the icon they have for that. It's cute. Cute. But yeah, as you can see, we now have a lot of stats. Now we only need 4,000 more gold, and we got our level 2 Radiance, and then we'll start dealing a lot of damage. Upgraded, upgraded, uh, Octarine Core is sick too. Just, you know, gives you the Song of the Siren with the heal. And the Song of the Siren with the heal is actually quite worthwhile. Okay, uh, sleep these fools really quick. Ah, oh, shit. Their team is just specifically picked to, to deal with Naga. Which is quite irritating. Alright. Well, at least we got one of them this time. <laughs> at least one. At least one. Yeah. I'm not really sure what to do with my songs. I'm trying to make it so that we can kill the Juggernaut. Because he always spins in first. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I activate my song, and the Juggernaut is still spinning his magic immunity, so we just kill that guy really quick. Hasn't been working out that way, which is a bit unfortunate. Alright, just beat this up. Yeah, those illusions stand up pretty powerful. <laughs> it doesn't take that long either, you, you may have noticed. Only 27 minutes. Not that long at all. Where's my upgraded Dr. Rinko? There we go, look at this. Now, we deal damage. Alright? Like, seriously, just... Give me a guy, I'll beat him up. Doesn't matter who it is. Bunch of creeps. And, uh... Nice. Cut him down really quick for me, will ya? I'm just gonna have these wait here, and they'll kill the next spawn, and they'll go... Kill the spawn down here, and I'll just... Deal with this in the meantime. Okay, kill this. Then you go here. They can do it in time, that is. Okay, uh, there's the Ember. Kill him. And he's almost dead! <laughs> Not quite, but I almost got him just with burn damage. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? No, I didn't hit the guy, he just almost died to burn. Oh. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, rip. Ooh, look at that, we got a kill! Not fancy. Ah. Um, Ember spray, man. That's rude. Okay, upgrade that diffusal. And upgrade the... Actually, I can't upgrade the radiance here, can I? Nah, level 3 Radiance is quite expensive. Oh, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna sell this and just get myself a Scotty really quick. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Like that, you know, it gives me some more stats. M -m 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 more stats. Alright, you guys head over here. Actually, you know what, how about you guys head in here? Uh, more specifically, I would like one of this. 
One on this. There's another guy over here, I know that. Alright. We're still doing fine. We got one here, we got you, and just you really quick, that's a triple. Ah, they denied themselves to creeps. I could have gotten the ultra right there. <laughs> Didn't, because they denied themselves. Fucking, fucking bitches, man. Bring them back. Don't run. It's lame. All right, lower free radiance. So we deal significantly more damage now. Significantly more damage. Um, cool, we got that. So next up, well, that's really actually a difficult question here, right? Like, that is hard to make that call, what you're gonna go for next. Um, and I'm never sure. I'm never sure, I never know. Alright, we got our upgraded Octarine core, which is sick. As you can see, we got a, a bunch of stats now. Um, I could just upgrade the Iowa Scotty, which seems reasonable enough. You know, keep going with stats. I could also try to upgrade the Diffusal Blade, which is also reasonable enough. Uh, it's a very powerful item, actually. Uh, let's throw down a sleep. Because I know there's a guy here. Oh, okay. Oh, Korea. Sick. Give me that. And I got him. <laughs> See that? I don't need to hit him anymore. I don't need to do jack shit. He just died. Oh. Nah, man. Good luck running from this. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. And again, keep in mind, like, if you don't have, you know, like, a team that is doing as well against us as these guys are, then you're just gonna be wrecking shit. Yeah, and this, f this hero is just so broken. So fucking broken. Alright, well, so there's a bunch of, bunch of illusions again. Use the E. E for days. Got 10,000 gold. <laughs> Casually. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, who's gonna stop us from having 10,000 gold? Oh, sick. Alright. I'm gonna just send these in. Probably a little bit. Oh, shit. Alright. Okay, we got one. Uh, I'm going to heal. No, wow! Oh, does MKB or one? Oh, she's trying to cast Song of the Siren. If I had cast Song of the Siren, we would have won that. Oh, that sucks, man. That is that is very annoying. Uh, actually, no. Hmm. I'm quite irritated by that, actually. Quite annoyed by that because like, I would have won we would have won that duel, but they kept interrupting me during my Song of the Siren animation. And again, Song of the Siren, in a duel, you know, you activate that thing, 8% per second, 7 seconds, you know, you just, you just end up at full HP again. It's 56% of your max HP right there. Now, that's a lot. It's a lot. I don't mind taking a break during a fight, you know, like, I'm in no hurry at all. <laughs> that's alright. Okay, we're just gonna head in here and kill this really quick. Got the Ensnare maxed out now. Which is nice, uh, especially against these heroes that are like, you know, trying to right click us and such. Just ensnare them down, ensnare them down, I can't really do much. No Alright, where are you at, you guys? What you up to? Oh, oh there's a guy, I found him. Oh, shit. Oh, doesn't that suck? <laughs> Somebody killed the hero guardian. Ooh, fancy. Fancy. Hmm. So they can't switch? I don't think they will. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they'll actually switch, but they could. So, I guess that's worth something, right? Bit scary. Means they got boss items. And means they can kill bosses, which is actually also quite a problem. Hello. Oh, you're dead. Oh, man. Sorry. Where's the rest of you guys? No, seriously, where are they? They must be going, they must be doing it. Um, we must be doing bosses down there. 
I mean, they're clearly not around. So that only leaves one option, that's the killing bosses. Okay, patch ultimate. What could that be used on? Huh. Oh yeah. Oh, there they are. Ah, oh, see. Found them. Okay, um... Okay, we got the sleep. No, don't worry, we're good. Um... Okay, he's dead. Still healing. Yeah, you're dead. And um, they're all dead? Did we win? Are they dead? Got a vulture kill and shit? Alright, he denied himself, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that ended up working out okay, I think. <laughs> Alright, cool. Definitely back in this. And maybe we can steal this guy. I mean, he's he's pretty low. Reasonably low. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy I, I, I knew exactly where they were going. That's cool, isn't it? When you're just like, you read them like that, and it's just like, yeah. I know your mind, man. Okay, I need an Angel's Blood and a Blessed Essence, and that's really it. Oh, nope, I picked... Oh, there we go. Alright, I got both. Also accidentally picked up the... Uh, Cursed Change, but that's not that big of a deal. Oh, you're dead. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> you're trying, man, you're trying. For the attack speed is pointless, I have 654 right now. I'm gonna end up at maximum, no matter what. Yeah. And yes, you don't really deal any damage anymore. Sorry about that, man. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna go back to our side of the map now. We're gonna kill some of the creeps there. In the meantime, we're gonna use these illusions to, like, maybe get something done, you know. See, there's a juggernaut there. Which is not necessarily the best target, but it is a target. So fucking oh, there we go. That's a good target. Only got 10 seconds left, though. Hello, guys. I don't know how much fucking damage that shit is. <laughs> oh my god, look at how much damage that just dealt. For nothing, just with some illusions. I didn't. I wasn't even there, I didn't even, didn't even participate. Just did a lot of damage though. Because apparently that's, that's how you do things. Yeah, Radiance is like the most broken thing in the game right now. In this game. It's just so good. So dumb. Okay, don't worry, I'm still good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal this. Okay, finish him off. Dead, there's an Earthshaker, doesn't matter. Yeah, you guys don't matter. Good luck with this. Good luck. <laughs> Ultra kill. Oh, yeah, about this. Ooh. Uh, that was harsh, I know, but you know what? What can you do? What do you want me to do? Uh, so we have an upgraded Scotty, I believe. Sick. Okay, also is that blessed essence really quick. Uh, with that blessed essence, we're just going to build. Oh, we don't have enough money for that. Well, we're just gonna wait a little while. Yeah, Dark Edge. Um, because, mostly, I mean, what else am I going to do with it, right? It's 150 in all attributes, this is 200 in all attributes, which is clearly more, so... Dog Edge it is. And then we have uh, an Angel's Blood, which... The Angel's Blood is just... Uh, gives you a lot of options, right? Like, that's the cool thing about Angel's Blood, there's just a lot you can do with it. A great item that actually gives a lot of stats is the Burning Butterfly. 225 Agility is a ton. Right, and also just gives you Evasion, which is nice to have. Yeah, Dog Edge! Can't see it in the inventory for... Reasons you tell me why, but <laughs> you just can't see it. Um, that's just how it goes, you know. Ooh, yeah, about that. Okay, sorry. No, it doesn't doesn't really doesn't really matter that much. It's not like he can kill me. You know, my radiance does a little bit of damage here. That's the thing too, right? Like with the Octarine Core, you're just healing so much. Uh, the funny thing is, you would think that uh, with this kind, of, like this kind of strategy, you would be 
you know, is uh, I, I did this kind of thing before with Queen of Pain, and then like on Queen of Pain, it would be better, more powerful, and even scarier. And it is good on Queen of Pain, don't get me wrong, it's just actually better on Naga. I'm not really entirely sure why, I think it's just, you know, a combination of like the rest of his skill set, it just works better. Like with Queen of Pain, her ultimate ends up being really useless, and her Q is also not that useful. The E is still good, but not significant enough to really make a difference. Um, Good jump. Rest in pieces. <laughs> yeah, and by the Naga, you get these sick ass illusions. You know, you get the E, which stays relevant throughout the entire game. Um, oh, it's just kind of, you know, works like that. It's kind of funny. Uh, in its own sort of way. Alright, gotta sleep on that. Put a net on that. Ah. Ooh, that's not nice. That's rude. <laughs> it's all is it? It is. That's funny. As there is one blessed essence, yeah. Mostly dead boots, though. <laughs> I got hooked into the fountain. I mean, I guess that's going to happen. But as you can see, we're totally making the comeback. Uh, I got 30 kills. Oh. Got some casual rampages throughout the game. Alright, uh, you go here. You go here. You go here, you go here, and you go here. Alright, look at that. Farming everything. <laughs> oh, music. Truly. Beautiful, beautiful music. Alright, uh, we're just going to heal up a little bit. No hurry. Not really. Yeah, look, the thing is, like, Song of the Siren just ends up being really useful, right? And then I can get, uh, 40 additional movement speed right here. Sick. The blaze at movement speed. Come in, man! Oh, nice dunk. A little pointless, but... Oh, nice. Come for me. Yeah, let that BKB run out, man! <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, you're dead. Oh, that sucks. You got detection? I uh, didn't think so. Ooh... Yeah, sorry, man. Mm -mm. Alright, you know what? Oops. Well, okay, we got him. I I mean, I can't keep doing this for days. I don't give a shit. I can heal up in between, too. <laughs> it's just like, whatever. I'm full HP again. Wait, why could I level that? It was weird. Did it just level up cancelling Song of the Siren? Interesting. Oh, the punch gave up. Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, so yeah, Naga is like super fucking overpowered. Uh, yeah. Hello. You can't come and fight me. That's okay. I don't mind. Is it just illusions, man? These guys don't even do anything. <laughs> just a bunch of illusions. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna actually just send this bunch of illusions in. I'm gonna keep one in the back, maybe trick him to go for something. Oh, he's dead. Ooh. Oh, man. Alright, perch that off, kill him really quick. Easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our butterfly. And by upgrade, I mean buy it. I got an angel's blood. Didn't really do anything with it up to now. That's a that's even scarier. You know, like what's 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 like super dumb. I think I'm not even six slotted. I'm not even saying I have fucking angel's blood. You know, like <laughs> doesn't do anything. Gives me 20 HP region. Oh, the base angel's blood of the 20 HP region. You know. Oh, yeah. Can I? Oh, it works. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh. Come back. No. Alright. Oh shit. Yeah, we don't want to get hooked. Don't want to get hooked. Manta Star is garbage, by the way. Like, the upgraded Manta Star, I don't like that thing at all. I don't think it's very good. Let me actually go ahead and, and give you some ideas. Like, just some general thoughts I have for, like, Angel Arena All-Stars. So, this is just something I would like some feedback on. Alright, so if you're watching up to this point, then you're the kind of viewer that I would like to have the feedback on, on, on these topics from. 
Right? Because, you know, like, if you're just somebody who watches the first 10 minutes, then I don't fucking need your opinion. <laughs> ah, I can't get up there. That's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, maybe I should have used that a little bit earlier. Sorry. Don't worry, I'm gonna level up my Song of the Siren end really quick. Because apparently that's something I can do. Yeah, eight seconds of a route. You know, I got got time, I guess. So, um, we have a lot of ideas for bosses, right? And currently in current Angel Arena, and this one, for example, there's like 11 bosses, right? There's like uh, two here, two here, two down there for each team, right? That's like eight right there, one in the middle, one over, one over here, and then the one under. That's 11 of all. All right, so you have 11 bosses. But we have a lot more ideas for that, for bosses already. So now what I'm wondering is like, how could we implement more than 11 bosses, right? Like if we want to keep, let's say we want to stick to 11. The number 11, we want to have that many bosses on the map at the time. Um, like, what if the bosses were randomized each game? Right, you don't really know what boss it is, you gotta scout it out first. Or if you kill a boss, then the next one that respawns is a different one. Or and, and then with that one, it could be random, right? Which one respawns? It's random. Or it is a set in a specific order. You know, you kill this boss first, and then the next one is going to be this one, next one is going to be this one. And then if it goes deep enough, then you get to see, like, the super late game bosses, you know? And they always drop, like, super scary items. That might be a good idea. I kind of like that, right? I actually want to do some bosses that aren't just, like, straight up clicking on people, on them. I want to do some bosses that way instead of, like, killing them, you have, like, a trial or a challenge you need to complete. And then if you do that... Then you just get the items, they just give them to you, kind of. Um, instead of killing the boss. Uh, that would be a cool idea, I think. Another thing I've been thinking about is, uh, you know, what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, max level do we want? You know, we want like 100 or 300 or like 7000, like what's, what's the, no cap, like what's, what's, what's a good idea, right? Like what's a good, good level cap? I have no fucking clue. Alright, there's a bunch of people up there. Ooh, shit. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. I'm just gonna keep the illusions in front of their base. I mean, I don't really know where else they're supposed to go. It's just... This right here is the optimal strategy, again. Like, in this game mode, after you start winning, you just camp the base. The thing is, I can actually do it without any risk, since, you know... It's just illusions that I'm using for it. And the illusions actually just almost killed those guys. Rest in pieces, man. I know there's a... Oh, he jumped over there. Cool, I'm gonna kill him really quick. <laughs> He's going for a lot of magic resistance. Dude, that's not gonna help. I actually deal a lot of right-click damage too. I mean, I just accidentally killed the Sven with my illusions. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like, that's the kind of thing I want to have. Um, I I kind of want to give you my philosophy in terms of balance. I just kind of want to, like, put it out there. But I am I believe that there's no such thing as a fault in the player, right? So if the player is playing to win, then the player is playing as expected, right? I should always assume people are going to be playing to win. As, you know, the guy making the game. I'll send you in. Oh, rip. Hey, this is what I was trying to do earlier. Oh. Except this time it kind of worked. Not really. Hey, it's just us now. Oh, whatever, we're gonna heal. Alright, Popo, you wanna fight him or do you want me to do it? Alright, you go. I believe in you. There we go. Got him. Got him. All right, but I don't think there's ever a fault with the player. Right? As long as the player is playing to win, then anything the player does is well within lines. If there's if there's a bug, right? Then it's our fault. Right, we gotta fix the bug. The player is abusing a bug, then our fault, man. Alright, we put the bug in the game. Let's go out and fix that bug, right? Um if there is if there's something that is a strategy that we didn't intend, that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. There's no fault with the player forever using any sort of strategy, 
right? Like any strategy you can use as a player is a strategy you should be using as long as it wins you the game. All right? And if the strategy degenerates the game and makes it a worse game because it exists, then it's something we'll have to deal with, right? That's that's on us, though. That's on us as the developers. It's something we have to fix. It's not something the players have to do. The players aren't at fault. The players cannot be at fault for almost anything, I believe. All right? The players should play to win. As long as you're playing to win, that's just... That's the right thing to do, right? That's the right thing to do. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just like, that's the design philosophy, I'm, or like the philosophy I'm going to approach this entire thing with. Alright, so in case you're ever like, hmm, like this strategy is like completely degenerate and like just makes the game terrible. Because it's like super broken or whatever, right, like what I'm doing right here. Um, then that, in my opinion, is never your fault if you're using it. I think you should be using it. I think you should be doing everything in your power to win a game. Except for bug abusing. Yeah, like bug abusing is something that as long as the developers like are aware of it, which you should bring it to the attention of the developers, and it's fine if you abuse it, right? But like if we are aware of it and we're working on fixing it, then of course it's a little bit lame if you, you know, just abuse it the whole time. But it's still fine, right? You should be using every fucking tool given to you, and try to use it as well as possible. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of going to be my like general philosophy approaching this entire thing. Because I don't know what the kill limit is here. I really wish those guys were to come out of the fucking well so I can kill them, but... Eh. Alright. Oh, well, I got all day. I got all day. But yeah. I think something like the fountain hooking right now. Alright, the fountain hooking in Angel Arena that exists. If you are winning, what you do is you take Pudge. Right, you're winning in the game. Uh, you take Pudge. You camp their fountain and then you just, you know, keep doing that. You just keep hooking them out of their fountain and win that way. I think that is something that is absolutely fine to do as the players. I think it's something you should be doing as the player because that is the best way to win. Like, that is how you will win the game. Like what I'm doing right here is a completely degenerate strategy. I'm just sitting in front of their fountain waiting that they'll come out eventually and every time they come out I'll kill them. This makes the game not fun, because we are just sitting here waiting, and, you know, if they come out, then they die. Right? It's just not interesting. But, this is the best strategy, and I believe I, as the player, should be employing this best strategy. So, who is at fault, then, for this existing? Well, it's the developers. Right? And that's exactly how I'm going to be approaching Angel Arena All-Stars. If something like this ends up happening in the game, then I think, then I believe it is up to us to fix it. It is not up to you, as the player, to not play this way. That is a dumb assumption to make as a developer. So yeah, that's just like one of the things. Um, I think he's just feeding it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, shit. Really? That hit? That's stupid. At least I can buy some tomes now. At least I can buy some tomes now. Oh, guys. Cool. Can I buy another one? No. Really hoping I could maybe afford another term. <laughs> but yeah. So again, I think that is on the on the players. Uh, not on the players. I think it's on the developers. Right. Should always play to win. Should always, always, always play to win. And if then the game ends up not being fun, then it's a bad game. Start straightforward. Uh, Alright, you go here and then here, and you two go in here. I want the number two of guards. Just really quick. That would be nice. There we go, fantastic. Activate that. Okay, we got a duel coming up in a bit. Oh, nice, a possessed sword. Yeah, the cool thing about this build too, by the way, you may have noticed, we need like no boss items. Alright, like, none. Well, I'm not taking it. I'm a fucking dagger. What am I gonna do with that? Okay, kill this. Oh, shit. Alright, never mind. That's fine. So, Juggernaut already dead. Ooh, that's rude. Rip. Alright. But yeah, that's kind of like how I how I'm going to approach this entire situation. Um, another thing. Wait, what was the other thing I wanted to say? 
uh, I'm kind of losing track of things, you know. I'm just kind of like chilling right now. Chilling so hard. God, my nose is really... Uh, well, what can you do about it, right? Can we actually call GG? No, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Hmm. God, this is so fucking dumb. Look at this shit. It's just radiant. Well, how much damage he's taking? Free radiant sticks. Took free radiant sticks. He's dead now. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's fair, man. I just honestly only need one illusion there. Don't even need the rest. Yeah, you know, it's just one illusion is gonna be chilling you. Yeah. yeah, cash all 53 kills. <laughs> hey, what you doing with my illusion, man? That's rude. That's rude. Another thing I really want to push in my Angel Arena is I want to move the game away from just right-clicking people. Um, my experience, the most fun fights you can have in Dota are fights that actually last a little while and where you have to do a lot. Right, where you have to manage cooldowns, where you have to uh, manage, uh, you know, your, your items properly, you, your, your spells, you gotta be aware of what your opponent does. You're actually gonna give you an option to outplay. You know, like, the thing is, in this game, I feel like I never, ever got an option to outplay anybody. Right, I feel like everything that has happened was just uh, a matter of, okay, well, we're going through the motions, right, and um, at some point... Oh God, this is so fucking stupid. <sighs> See, this is the kind of degenerate strategy that I think is absolutely legitimate for them to use. They should use it. Makes the game shit, though. All right? Turns the game into a worse game. Anyway. As I was saying. Uh, what was I saying? Sure, I was saying something. <laughs> no, but... Um, Did you see that? Fuck, I actually lost track. Fuck. All right, that's fine, then. Sure, I'll remember in a second. I'm sure I'll remember in a second. But oh yeah, I want to do different kind of bosses. So I want bosses to be something that is more than just or not or well, not different kind of bosses, but different kind of fights in general, like including bosses as well. But just fights in general. I find fights to be the most entertaining if they are like a little longer, right? If the power level is a uh, not not a lower power level, but it's just I want to get to use my items, you know, like I want to get to do something. More often than not, in these fights right here, like people die in in, in a second, right? Like Dershek barely ever gets to actually use his stuff, like because you just get right click down so hard. The Sven, you know, like look at this. Fights should never, ever, ever go that quickly. It should be much more impactful that you're fighting. Um, so I, I think that's actually much better. One other thing I would also I will also definitely implement into the game right from the very beginning. And this is an idea I got from Crumbling Island Arena, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. But um, in my Angel Arena, to actually win the game, you're going to have to reach the kill limit and then win a duel. Right? It's not going to be enough to reach the kill limit. You have to reach the kill limit and then win a duel. That allows for comebacks. That makes it so that, oh... Well, you got the kill limit, you got there, but you haven't won a duel since then. You're losing every single duel. Well, there we go. Now the other team managed to come back and win. Right? Like, this game was a comeback, but comebacks are so rare because it's so difficult to do anything that isn't, you know, like, to, 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 to just, I don't know, you know, to just catch up. It's just so fucking hard. Ah, we won. There we go. It was exactly 100. That's funny. Everybody voted 100. But yeah, um, so I think that you should make it so that... Um, I think you should make it so that... Fuck. Man, my brain isn't working. You know what? Never mind. Naga's broken. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm less sleepy. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>